Hello, my name is Chidi, and I'm the CEO of Asante. Even though small businesses in Africa make up 90% of the businesses in the continent, contribute 60% of employment, and 40% of the GDP of the continent, they don't get any love from banks. And that is why we are the bank for untouchables. We are building the biggest and the best bank for small businesses in the continent. So today in Africa, and in particular Sub-Saharan Africa, there are about 145 million small businesses. Only 56% of them, only 46% of them actually have access to formal financial services. And even the formal financial services is everything but credit. And thirdly, the credit gap in the continent is in excess of $300 billion on an annual basis. And this is the reason why we started with credit, because that's the number one pinpoint of these small businesses. And you can see, these are clips from the media, the press, country after country, whether it's Malawi, Zambia, Nigeria, Kenya, the story is the same. The banks don't want to touch them. And the reason is very simple. Most of them are not formal. They don't have systems. They're not structured. And even the microfinance institutions that were set up to service them don't have the capacity, don't have the technology, and they don't have the distribution. And so these small businesses, 140 million of them, are looking for a new kind of financial services provider. And that provider is Asante. What have we done in Asante? We've done a couple of things, and we've done it really well. These small businesses, a sizable number of them, operate within the value chains of large corporates. So whether it's FMCGs, like Unilever, businesses that manufacture building materials like Dangote, telecoms companies like MTN, airlines like Kenya Airways, Marketplaces like Jumia, they all have thousands, and in some cases, millions of small businesses operating within their value chains. And so what do we do? We devised a means called embedded ecosystem-based lending. It's sort of a B2B sort of model. And so we partner with these large corporates. They give us access to these small businesses within their value chains, playing diverse kinds of roles. Maybe they are dealers or distributors or agents. And then in particular, with the consent of these small businesses, they give us high integrity data on their activities within those value chains. And this includes KYC, it includes behavioral data, it also includes transactional data. The second thing that we've done is that we've invested in building super APIs to be able to integrate with the enterprise systems of these large corporates. And thirdly, we've also been able to build a credit engine that is AI powered, that allows us to make decisions with high level of precision and deliver default rates that are less than 5%. What else have we done? We've been able to secure regulatory licenses in the countries that we operate, allowing us to provide and extend credit services and to further get into non-credit products from next year. We've also been able to mobilize funding, which is the capital that we used to lend, and so the, le the loans are on our balance sheet. And then finally, we've been able to build a range of, 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 of UIs on the back of mobile telephony, whether it's an app, the USSD, and the STK. With all of this, we're able to deliver lending in 60 seconds. Let me repeat, from application to disbursement in less than 60 seconds. One of the biggest feats of Asante is the caliber of corporate partnerships, corporate partners we've been able to secure. We now have in excess of 30 of them across over 30, 13 industry verticals. When you talk about telecoms, we currently have the top three telcos in the continent, Safaricom, MTN, Airtel. If you get into FMCGs, we have the likes of Lafarge, we have Unilever, we have Diageo. When you talk about payments, we've got MasterCard, we've got InterSwitch. And so we have 
a good number of them that partner with us. All together, these 30 top corporates give us an exposure to more than 2 million MSMEs, but more importantly, over $200 million in monthly lending opportunity. One of our highly celebrated partner is M-Pesa, Safaricom M-Pesa. M-Pesa is the largest mobile money business in the world. $300 billion in annual transaction value. And we are the only lender to the SMEs in that ecosystem, more than 5 million of them. How have we fared? If you compare our performance this year, and we're still in November, to last year, we've already done 5x across all metrics. So we're currently running at about $100 million in annual disbursements of loans. We now have 200,000 MSMEs that we bank. We are cash flow positive. We are profitable. And more importantly, we keep a default rate that is less than 5%. And this is super rare in emerging markets. And we are just beginning. So we started with credit because it's number one pain point. But what, what have we done? We've seen a lot of opportunities around propositions beyond credit. And so we've partnered with Mambu, Cozoid, and MasterCard to deliver new capabilities that will allow us to extend products like accounts, wallets, cards, payments, and so many other third-party services that these MSMEs need to thrive. And this will be going live in Q1. And there's the team. Between all of us, we have more than 100 years of experience across diverse range of digital financial services in the continent, whether it's mobile money, payments, or core banking. And that is Asante in five minutes. And so if you want to talk to us, this is my contact detail. All the best. Thank you.